acquired in Egypt by the second Marquis of Northampton in 1850, this four and a half thousand year old limestone sculpture represents a scribe called Sekemka, which translates as strong of soul, identified by an inscription on the base. He is seated holding a papyrus scroll on his lap, on which are listed offerings to sustain him in the afterlife. On the three sides of the plinth carved in low relief are offering bearers carrying papyrus flowers, incense, linen, geese, and calves. Kneeling next to him and embracing his right leg is his wife, Sit Merit. His son, Seshem Nefer, shown to his right, holds a lotus flower, a symbol of rebirth. Statues such as these served as a living image of the deceased and would have been placed in tomb chapels accessed only by priests and family members in order to honor their ancestors. Their chief purpose was to receive offerings in order to allow the departed to live for eternity in the afterlife. These statues were not intended as portraits but served a more timeless purpose. The heavy lines and angular frontality emphasize the permanence and immortality of the subject, while the sensitively modeled body and expressive face create a sense of liveliness, embodying the fundamental Egyptian belief in eternal life. The conventions established during the Old Kingdom became the canon for all subsequent generations of ancient Egyptian art, and this statue of Sekemka epitomizes this high point in ancient Egyptian artistic expression.